There we go. Got a camera down here. Right there, which is going. Got gimbo, gimbo, just over here. Taking uh, time lapse. And I'm drifting now east. The river. Just so I have a careful um, dirty water at the moment, so the sharks um, around here are pretty ferocious, so I'm just going to be careful what I put out for bait. So I'll hook onto one and um, I will go for a little bit of a drive with him, I dare say, until I cut the line, cut it with my knife, which I didn't bring. Good on me. Anyway, let's see. We'll bait her up and have a go. Bait her up. It's the first time I've been on this little yellow one, so I've actually got to try and adjust everything where I'm going to see it. Uh, I'm going to put on the sides here, come around the sides, some hooks so I can actually hook me, me oar, me oar on the side of the boat, and yeah, it'll run right across. So there we go, we're drifting around a bit now. Um, came from up around that area up there, the other side of those bridges. This is actually the Kuma River in the canals. So this is all man made here. Um, paid a lot of money for these houses, that's for sure. Uh, as you can see, quite nice. A few boats down there. Absolutely gorgeous today. Oh, God. Uh, I don't know. Now, all we have to do now is just sit and have a little more wait and see if we can catch anything. Oops. Using a bit of prawn today. I reckon that would have been a brim sitting around out there, just waiting for me. The waves coming up behind us. Not too bad. I thought that might have been a little bit worse. The jet ski came past me, so. Put my nose in. No, I was laying up nose in. I don't want that.
gently, gently against the current. <laughs> Don't know what time the car tide's coming in, but he's going pretty quick, and if I uh, take my eye off it, I could end up freaking five k's down the river. So. I don't really feel like doing that at the moment. <laughs> so I'm just going to be doing a few pictures and videos of the beautiful day we've got here. Um, just hope it's a little bit interesting. It won't be long. Um, just want to show everyone how beautiful it is out here. Um, probably got to make up now for it might be shut down again soon. Um, we can't go and see my mother-in-law. They've shut the doors on that one there. This nursing home. Uh, yeah. So, uh, I'm just going to have a paddle, I think, for a little while. I haven't paddled for some time. Uh, I did say I wanted to get myself a little bit fit. So, uh, I was 108 kilos, so I've gone down now to 80 kilos. It's not juice, due from being sick, it's from having a nice diet, salads, um, yeah, really nice big bowls of salads. Um, you've got to watch out on the cheese though, but um, yeah, so I'll just uh, keep my uh, fitness up a little bit so I don't get a, another fatty liver. They would say. Right. A few cars on the bridge up in front of me. It's the main highway, as I said before. It's the M1. This goes to Brizzy. Where Daz lives, another Aussie. South is Don. Who else we got? Wobbly, he's up north from where I am now, to my right. Uh, Aussie girl, Aussie angel. Uh, who else was there? There was a couple of Aussies. Sorry if I miss out on this. Uh, and all the other people that are on the chat and in the panels. So you know things all from out in the water. I'm not going fast. So. <laughs> yeah, the current was a bit stronger than what I thought. You know. It's going to take me double the time to get back than it was to get here. Oh god, I've got all morning. I know I did leave my phone in the car and I needed that. There's always something I forget. Okay, I wonder what these um, jet skiers are like around here. Get under the bridge there, I can do six uh, knots. Let's see if they uh, do more than that. I just had to load me. Um, Battery to me. Oh, what's going on? I'm having a bit of trouble with time lapse and everything. Okay. I'm going to start to pick up a bit now. I'm going to have to check how uh, sturdy this little kayak is. I'm quite happy with it. Um, I don't know how to go with a 20 kilo battery. And I think it's 7 kilo, 8 kilo motor. Um, it might weigh down a bit more, so I'll be paddling with this boat. If I don't mind. Parts later on, and I'll take it in and see if I um, get into little sh little coves where it's hard to get in with cars and people. Uh, 
So at the moment it's just a test run. This is the first time I've been on this one in the water. And um, yeah, it stands out of the water uh, around about 25 centimetres from the top to the bottom of the water, which is great. That's a lot of room there. So it could take you know, the 20 kilo battery, who knows. Uh, I know down where my feet are, there's Got two little grooves, one on each side, where a round bar would fit right across. Um, I normally would put um, a block on it so I can attach my motor to it. Um, you know, like screws on two two bolts, presses against the wood. Well, that's what I would do. Uh, you could probably see where the feet are. Uh, see one there, a little groove, just here. There. And another little groove just there as well. So I'd say you could put um, like your oar that's made out of steel, you could put that right across and it'd be under your legs, which would be probably not under my legs, it'll probably be that I'll be able, to, be able to rest my feet against it, heels, heels in, and Way she goes, but uh, we'll see how we go. I'm not really fussed in it. I know I've got another battery there, it's only a little, but I don't think it'll run the motor too long. I use that for me uh, fish finder. So I'll just um, keep paddling, that's that's it. Uh, I want to use the motor and everything, I'll just take my little, um, my little orange boat out. Tender and um, scoot around in that. So I'm quite happy with what I brought here. Uh, it's cost me all up, probably $170, $180. Bucks. Um, the kayak, when it was uh, brought new, it was valued at that time. Around about 500, 450, 500 dollars. So um, the fellow I brought it off, his kids are growing up out of it now and moved away. So he's got that hanging around. And he's got himself just a stand-up board, and they all use this as a stand-up board as well. Um, I can see why because there's plenty of buoyancy outside. You know, it's, it's nice. I'm gonna soon I'm gonna pull up over here. Okay. Let me have a look here. We go. Just changing me um, phones over to time lapse. For some reason it didn't work before. So half an hour paddling was down the drain. Dugger. Some nice, some nice shots there too, it's beautiful. Looking straight down to the east, into the sun. Um, won't be on time lapse, but I'll have it on the other video camera that I've got together. I normally fish here sometimes at night. Um, I bring my father in law and we actually fish off the banks up where we uh, put the boats in boat rampies and yeah we get a few not too many they're only little little things um, and sometimes you get the prawns swimming around amongst all the rocks you see I'm not getting anywhere at the moment <laughs> uh, I'm paddling away paddling to nowhere <laughs> there you go it's just starting to build it up a bit now minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes in the water. Why not? Oh, you know, I could really fall asleep in it and just float wherever I shall go.
tide might be coming back back in. Slowly, very slowly coming back in I think. I know the wind's pushing me back. Tent right up there. Must be homeless. Smash the like and catch up with you all next time. Bye.